In this video, we are going to learn how to create cloth material in Unreal Engine. Please stay till the end of the video as I am going to show some tips and tricks to create a realistic cloth material. So without any delay, let's jump into Unreal Engine. I have already opened an Unreal Engine interior scene which I have recently created. If you want to learn how to light this scene and how to create this curtain material, you can check out the link in the description below. Now let's create a cloth material. So we are going to use this sofa for our cloth material. Let's click on this sofa here. We are going to create a new material here. I have already imported some textures, some 2K textures. You can also do the same here. So let's just right click and let's create a new material. Let's name it master. So an M underscore cloth and we will name fabric. Okay, so this master material will serve as our main material and we can basically create material instances for the cloth material that we want. Now let's just double click our master material here. We are going to dock it here. And now the first thing uh, for the cloth material, we are going to convert this material from default lit to cloth here. So we are going to get a new property which is our first color and we are going to use this fuzziness here. Now let's just import our textures here. So I'm going to go to content drawer here and I'm going to import this 2K texture which I am having. So let's just uh, drag and drop it here. Now let's just align this properly. Okay, and we are going to connect each and every texture to our parameters here. So base color will be go, diffuse will go in our base color. Then we are having this roughness here. So our roughness will go into the roughness parameter here. Then we are having this opacity map. So if you want, you can use this opacity also. So you can see we are getting this opacity map here also. And now we are having our normal map. So let's just move this upwards here, this side upwards. And now we are going to connect this normal to our basically normal map here. Now, as you guys can see, this is looking something like this here. So let's just save it. And now we are going to basically tile this material. So if you remember from my material sessions, which I have created earlier, what you can do, you can add a tiling function material here. And for that, if you are not seeing MF underscore tiling, you just need to import a mega scan material and it will be available here. So let's just right click here and let's just type MF underscore tiling. And now we are going to connect our result to our UVs here. So let's just do that. And now we are going to rename our textures here so we can use them in the future. So right click and convert to parameter and let's just name it to diffuse here. Let's just name this to roughness. So let's just convert to parameter. If you want to use opacity map here, you need to create two master materials, one with opacity map, one without opacity map, because in future, if you are not having opacity map for your textures, then you need to delete this and do the thing. Okay. So I am going to keep this because we are going to create two new materials. Okay. Right click and convert to parameter and let's just name it to opacity here. Okay. And we are going to right click this here and we are going to convert to parameter and let's just name it to normal. Now I want to control the normal intensity. So we are as usual going to add a multiply node by holding M key M for multiply. We are going to connect A to our RGB. Then we are going to press and hold S key S for scale. And you can see we are getting a parameter here and we are going to name this parameter to normal intensity. Okay, and now we are going to connect this to our B tab here. We are going to give the normal intensity of one. And we are going to connect this to our normal here. Same way we are, we can do this for our roughness also. So let's just do that also. So let's just hold M and uh, let's just add a multiply. Same we are going to hold S and uh, let's just name this parameter to our roughness intensity. Okay. And we are going to connect this over here and we are going to connect this over to our roughness here. And we are going to give the value of one. And now what we are going to do, we are going to introduce a first color here, which would be a black color. So we can get the texture as it is basically in diffuse color. Then we are going to add a fuzzy parameter with our diffuse. So let's just first add a first color here. So press and hold four key and let's just connect this to our basically first color. And let's just make sure that our alpha is set to one here. 
Okay, and now we are going to save this here. And now what we are going to do, we are going to introduce a first parameter here in our diffuse. Okay, so let's just right click and let's just type fuzzy. And you can see we are getting fuzzy shading, fuzzy grass shading. Then there is a function for fuzz also, but we are going to use a fuzzy shading here. And now you can see we are getting this three parameters. So let's just arrange this a bit here. Okay, we are going to do something like this. And now what we are going to do, we are going to create each and every parameter for our core darkness, for our power and for our edge brightness. So we can press and hold S key here and we are going to name this to our core darkness and I am going to show you what each and every parameter does by showing it live on our model. So we are going to connect this over here and we are going to name it to one value to one. Let's just copy and paste this here. So let's just control C and control V. Okay. And let's just rename this to power. So let's just name it to power here. And we are going to connect this to our power. And now we are going to connect the edge brightness also. So let's just do that also. So we are going to just copy and paste it again. And we are going to connect it to our edge brightness and let's just name this to edge brightness. So basically this will act as our cloth fuzziness. So if you want some parts to be darker, you want the edges to be brighter, it can be easily done with the help of this fuzzy shading. And now you can see we are having this normal and base color. So for base color, we are going to take our base color to our base color here. And for normal, we are going to take this normal to our normal here. Okay. And now we are going to connect this result to our base color. And now if you want, you can see we are getting something like this here. Okay. So you can play with the values also. So let's just do zero for now for all the parameters here. So it's default by default set to default value. We are going to play with the values in a bit. But last thing I want before closing this master material is our hue saturation. So let's say you want to change the color. You can do that also. So we are going to add a hue saturation node here. So we are going to right click and type hue shift. Okay. And we are going to add this hue shift here. And now you can see we are having two things hue shift percentage as well as we are having a texture parameter. Okay, so for texture, we are going to take this fuzzy shading here and for U shift, we are going to add a constant node by holding S key and we are going to type this here U shift or U just U. Let's just name it to U and we are going to connect this here and we are going to connect this result in our base color. Okay, now we are going to save this master material. I am going to create one more master material for without opacity map. So we are going to do duplicate. We are going to name it M cloth fabric opacity. So it will be no opacity map. Okay. So we are going to double click it here. We are going to delete our opacity map here. So let's just delete our opacity map and let's just make sure that our opacity is set to one. Okay. You can set it to zero or one as you wish. Okay, but I will set it to zero because by default it's set to zero. Let's just save this also. Now what we are going to do, we are going to create a material instance for this. So let's just save the scene first. Now we are going to just right click our master material, create a material instance. Let's just name it to sofa material. Okay. And now let's just drag and drop it here. Okay. This is not looking good. I know that. Okay. Don't worry about that. Let's just zoom it a bit somewhere over here. We are going to now double click it here and now you can see we are getting all the parameters. So let's just close all of this stuff here and let's just do something like this. So we can see all our parameters here in the tab. Now let's just turn on all the parameters so we can tweak the values as we want here. We are not going to enable our textures parameters here because we are not going to change the texture right now. Okay. So let's just increase the tiling to five by five. And now you can see we are getting this tiling effect here. Okay. This is looking nice. Let's just take it to maybe six by six. Okay. And now what we want to do, basically we want to play. So let's just increase our screen percentage here. So we can see properly. So let's just do 140. So we can see our texture. This is looking nice. Now we are going to play with the values here. Okay of our core darkness 
edge brightness and our power here. So if I increase the core darkness here, you can see our material is getting darker in some parts. Okay. So this is working really good. So you can get the variation as you can get in your Corona and V-Ray offline renders. So this is looking nice. Okay. Now you can increase the edge brightness here. Okay. And now you can see this is looking nice here and you can play with the power. So power will basically multiply this your core darkness and your edge brightness. And now you can see this is looking nice. So this is material is looking really good. And this is feeling like a cloth material here, a proper cloth. Now, if you want, you can play with the U also. So let's just change the U here. And now you can see this is looking nice. We are getting this material here. Okay. Now, if let's say if you want to decrease the brightness of this material, okay, then you can add a brightness node also if you want but you can directly do it from texture also. So what you can do, you can turn on this diffuse. You can browse the location here. You can just double click it here on your texture and then you can play with the brightness and saturation value. So let's just decrease the saturation to 0.8. And now you can see this is looking really good. Okay. And let's just decrease the brightness also. So let's go to 0.8 and this is looking nice. Okay. Let's just save this here. Let's just close this. And now I can play with the edge brightness. Okay. This is looking nice. This material is really looking good. So let's just save this and let's just apply it to our other sofa parts also. So let's just drag and drop it here and let's just drag and drop this also here. And now this is looking really good. Okay. Now we can add another material also because we have created a material master material for all this stuff. So we can create without no, no opacity because I'm going to use this texture which is not having any opacity. So let's just right click with no opacity and create a material instance. Let's just name it to sofa material to okay. Ignore the spelling mistakes. So we can drag and drop it here. Again, we are getting the styling issues. Don't worry about that. Let's just double click it here. Let's just turn on the tiling. Let's just turn on all the stuff here. Okay. And now we are going to replace the diffuse normal and roughness textures here. So let's just remove our diffuse first. Let's just move to our normal then and let's just do our roughness then. Okay. And as you can see, this is looking something like this here. Okay. Let's just play with our tiling here. So let's just do five by five. And now if you want to rotate this, you can do that also by having this rotation angle set to 0.25. And now you can see this is rotated basically. Okay. And you can see this is looking something like this here. Now, if you want to change the U also, you can do that also. So let's just do something like this. Okay. This is looking nice, but I want some lighter shades. So as usual, we are going to click on our diffuse texture here. Okay. We are going to increase the brightness to two and our saturation decrease to 0.7. And now you can see we are getting this light shade here. Okay. We can save this. I can increase the tiling to seven by seven here. Okay. I can do 90 degrees so we can get a flat shade here. So this is looking nice. Okay. I don't want this side. I want it to be this side. So I'm going to do zero, but I wanted to show you how rotation basically works. Okay. So this is looking nice. And now I can play with the core darkness here, edge brightness. And now you can see this is looking nice and I can play with the power also. And now you can see this thing which I is showing in material is going to vanish. It's going to be smooth with the help of the power here. And this is looking nice. Okay. And let's just save this material here. And now you can see this is also looking really good. So this way you can create any cloth material that you want with the help of Unreal Engine master material, which I showed you. And now you can take your cloth materials to another level. I know there are many more techniques, which many more users use, but I find this really easy and effective to use. And the results are really good. If you like my video, please press that like button, share it with your friends who wants to learn Unreal Engine and subscribe to my channel for such amazing videos. Thank you guys. Bye bye.